Welcome to the Zed Board Chronicles, Episode 3. I'm Larry Osborne, Senior Product Manager at Asset Intertech. As you can tell from the intro, this particular episode is all about the Quant Spy. We're going to break this down into two parts. The first part, we're going to cover the hardware. We're going to start by looking at the schematics for the Zed Board, then look at the Squad Quad Spy device itself, and then we'll look at the technical reference manual with respect to the um, Zig 7000 Quad Spy controller. Then on part two, what we'll do is we'll take a look at the code initialization required to set up the Quad Spy controller, and then finally dump the contents of the Quad Spy itself. For this topic, some fundamental information is required, and I've provided links to the documents within the notes section below. The importance of the Quad Spy is it, it is the location on the Z board where the first stage bootloader is located. If you're going to muck about it all with the first stage bootloader, I suggest that you back up the contents of the Quad Spy. And that's exactly what I plan to do, is create an application to back up the contents of the Quad Spy and then begin modifications to the first stage bootloader. So let's get started. The first thing I needed to see was what is called out in the schematics for the Quad Spy device and find its location. According to the schematics, the device is in S25, F256, S, A, GMF 100. Without looking at the bomb, I went straight to the Z board. It's been my experience that often the schematics and the bomb doesn't represent exactly what it is that it was purchased. Looking at the Z board, I found it on the bottom of the board near the SD slot and its expansion device. Searching for a data sheet always seems to be more challenging than it should be. So adding Spansion to the search, I find a Cypress data sheet with similar numbers. A little more work and I see that Spansion is now Cypress. Now I know that it's a 32 megabyte spy device with four serial lanes and has a protocol to exercise the device. It's time to move on to the TRM to research the Quad Spy controller within the Zinc 7000 SoC. I see that Chapter 12 is dedicated to the Quad Spy. I'm interested in the fastest read access possible. I see that the linear addressing might be the ticket. I found the device address map the Quad Spy device in the TRM. It was also covered in Episode 2. Question, can you recall where in Episode 2 it was found? With this address information, I was about to open a memory view. However, remembering that this is a quad lane serial device with a protocol required for communications that would support opening of a memory view. So it's back to the TRM for a more detailed analysis. Section 12.2.5 covers the linear addressing mode. It appears with the correct setup, the protocol is automatically controlled by the QSPY controller. In Table 12.3, we see that setting the instruction code to 0xEB provides the fastest read performance possible. I want to look at the configuration register definitions, so it's off to look at the Appendix B, Section 26. We see that the reset value of the configuration word is 0x8002000. And the base address is at 0x E000 D000. I will look at the memory map registers in a moment, but right now I want to see the configuration details. I'm curious why the recommended settings for the for the configuration in table 12.3 for expansion device is 0x28 ff 2 eb and looking at the details shows that this setting is writing to the reserved bit fields. I will look for a rat on that item later. Back to chapter 12 and the programming guide. This is the final bit of information we need to construct the application. Section 12.3 covers at a high level the startup sequence followed by the con controller configuration and finally the linear addressing mode setup. Armed with this data, we can write our own application to read the contents of the Quad Spy Flash and save it to a file. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll look at the reset status of the Xilinx Zinc 7000 Quad Spy configuration register in the next episode.